Here is a little example of how I use some of our toys for teaching. We were learning about the squares and different shapes. So I took our little foam building blocks. I got gathered all the square shapes and I took got a piece of paper and then just wrote squares on it and I drew the squares, the different colors that we have. And all the child has to do is just put it on top squares. So this is a good practice review for colors as well. And the shapes, learning that the squares have four equal sides. So you can draw them with your her little finger, she can trace over it, even with a marker. You can plastify your page as well, make it more sturdy and long-lasting. So we have squares, we have our circles, so again, I just drew them, and she matches the colors. She has to look very closely and put them right on top. We did the same with our rectangles, learning our rectangles, vocabulary word. And then this one even has different sizes of rectangles. So she has to tune in and focus on the colors and on the sizes and make sure she gets it just right. So that was a fun activity. I just gave her all the building blocks and she put them on the right pages. Now here's a more challenging one. It says circles in squares. So we learned about our circles and we learned about our squares. So now we can even put them together. So what we have to do here, as you can see, there's different color circles and different color squares. So we use our circles first. Yellow circle pink circle, blue circle, so she has to really look closely here, and our green circle. Now she can find the square shapes. So this is very good practice for distinguishing between the two, the circle and the squares. This is also good motor skills, getting it just right on top. Let's see, blue, pink square. So she finds this pink square and puts it on top. And this keeps her really busy. Her little hands always working and active. And here is our last little project we did. This is, we call it fun shapes. Now here is an actual, it gets, you put it together and it turns into a little circle. We call it our steering wheel, like that. This one, like that. And this one, like this. But I used it differently here as a little puzzle game. Just like we've done with our other shapes, I traced them over on the paper. Now, to make it easier, we also did our colors. To make it more difficult, you can just do them all one color, and then it will take a lot more tuning into the details in the shape. So here she can match the colors, but then she has to look closely. Hmm, it doesn't work like this. Oh, she has to turn it around this way or this way to try which one.